The shop is a parking management software. One of its abilities is to allow us to create a working system using just five simple steps. Step number one is of course create a parking lot. So of course that here we can create, we can give our parking lot a name and we can choose how many spaces are inside this parking lot, how many physical spaces. Next, we're going to choose to create a company. Uh, a lot of companies can use a single parking lot, of course, like in the modern world. Uh, this is where we can actually name the first company that is going to use this parking lot. We can also see all of the different companies that are already a part of it. Moving into the next part, this is where we add a physical camera, an actual camera that is inside our parking lot. So let's really quick create a, ca <clears throat> create a camera, sorry. First thing is that we are going to create the, we're gonna give our camera a name. So let's give it the name local camera since it, it's a local camera. Of course you can, you, you can use a IP address or a domain address if you want to, if you want to add a camera. So your camera doesn't have to have a fixed IP. You can use a domain, a DDNS or a fixed IP of course. In our case, I'm going to use a local a camera. The camera is on our LAN. The HTTP, let's fill out the details really quick. The RTSP, by the way, a, is a, not a must. You don't have to put it to fill this information also. The mandatory information is the HTTP port. The rest of the ports are taken automatically from the camera. So long polling port, automatic, username and password. And we choose the direction. Does the camera sit in the entrance to a parking lot, in the, in the exit, or in both directions? Save, and we can see immediately the green heart. It means we have a, uh, a good connection to our camera. We press the live video, and we can see that the seconds are changing. None of the cars are moving, but of course, oh, there we are. Okay, so we have a working connection into our camera, and everything is good. And let's move on to the next part. Okay, so this is actually where we choose how many parking spaces we have in our um, uh, associated into each one of the companies. Okay, so we can see that in this case we have company one, it has five parking spaces, and over here in the assigned parking space or the league parking space, we can assign new parking spaces to another company or to the same one, or delete parking spaces. Continue, and we are moving to the authorized cars. This is basically where we can, where we can add, a, already from here, we can add cars to our authorized uh, vehicles. So whenever we add a car right here, we can basically allow this car to be able to enter to the parking lot. Of course, providing the mandatory information such as the license plate number and the name. Of course, we can fill out all of the other information in order to, uh, uh, to have a, a uh, more detailed information about the, the, the different drivers. And the next step is finish. This is it. This is how we create a working system in five simple steps.